dumb question for employees banking. My brain is so fucking tired. I, I've been seeing all this shit lately about how you have to get sleep and all of that type of stuff. I just haven't been sleeping well, so I'm fucking mumbling like a jackass on this goddamn thing. Um, dumb question for employees banking. Dear Bill, I know how much you hate us banker cunts. Uh, I hate the system is what I hate. You know, uh, the fact that you just can't at some point make a certain level of money and then be like, okay, I'm done. It just seems like they're just going to have you run on the wheel until you drop. Um, all right. I know how much you hate us banker cunts, but I still wanted to share my top five dumb questions from working with the public and their finances for the last 10 years. Well, I bet if you were doing, oh, if you had been doing it for the last 15 years, sometime around 2005, 2006, people would have been like, wait, how the fuck am I qualified to buy this house? You would have heard that question. All right. Number five, when referring to your, to the feature of being able to take a picture of a check on your phone to deposit it to your account. If I take a picture of cash, will that be deposited to my account too? <laughs> That's almost not a dumb question because the fact that you can just take a picture on your phone, I still don't get that or trust it. Uh, why is Ben Franklin on the $100 bill? He wasn't that great of a president. Okay, for those of you who don't get that, he was never a president. Um, he says, I love the arrogance of this one because not only were they confident enough to think he was a president, but they didn't think he was a very good one at that. Yeah, that's hilarious. Yeah, he's not a good president. Then we, you know, you know, he's not a good president. They never bring him up whenever they talk about the great presidents or even list the presidents. All of the presidents, you never even hear the guy's name. All right, number three: a guy called wanting to refinance his house. Hi, I need to buy my house again. Yeah, maybe that guy was educated, and he was probably shitting on you guys because he realized that refinancing his house, he was going back to payment one. Where if he was like five years into his mortgage, people don't understand that they go back, you go back to payment number one and you owe 30 years again. So even though the number goes down, you know, your payment goes, you say your, your mortgage goes from 500 to 375 a month, you're still losing money and they're making more money by refinancing your house. Unless... You are planning to pay it off, and then you take the lower payment so you can put more money towards the interest, and you're going to pay it off in the same time as when it was $500 a month. Then I think he can beat the system. But um, that's actually, if he's being sarcastic, then that's actually a funny question. All right, number two, will you move my investments out of this account if you get any information before the market does? Ugh. Oh, Jesus. I hate to say it, but I, I would probably, I'd fall into that category. I don't understand how stocks work either. So he says, sure, buddy. I'll let you know how well your money is going, is doing when I call you from prison. <laughs> All right. Number one, a woman deposited $80 in cash at the ATM and accidentally punched in 800 This was back in the day when you had to type in how much cash you were depositing depositing and then place it in an envelope uh she ended up spending the 800 dollars, and then once we caught it and corrected her account she came in and a asking for her 800 back i don't even understand that that's so dumb wow i mean she should be happy that you did that's not some sort of uh theft because she knew that money wasn't real but then again, don't you bankers know that most of the money that you're loaning out isn't real? Let's say she deposited $800. You can loan out 100% of that plus another 800 times two, can't you? So don't you guys counterfeit $1,600? And that's how we get in trouble. I do like the latest um, uh, real estate bubble, the, the, uh, the high-end apartments or whatever, luxury apartments that you're loaning out to people with blood money from... Uh, different parts of the world. At least you got the money. So I'm hoping because every city seems to be doing massive amounts of construction and nobody I know can really afford to do anything right now. And you've, you're building all of this shit that nobody can afford. So it kind of seems like something bad's going to happen is what I'm guessing. I don't know.